Hey there, Sagittarius. So um, this will be the sign to um, to finish up for the week with the fire signs, um, and and then um, I my next video that I put out I will be um, uh, starting over with the water signs and air and then earth. So uh, keep a, a lookout um, today. I will. Um, be uh, putting out a couple of water sign videos uh, and then um, uh, tomorrow will be the air signs. Okay. <clears throat> and, um, and then starting next week, you guys can look for water signs to be on Mondays. Um, air signs to be on Tuesday, um, earth signs to be on Wednesday, and uh, fire signs to be on Thursday. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it will be um, uh, the reading um, is not going to be, um, you know, like set. Uh, what's going to happen in the week ahead uh, because uh, it is energy and there's no way possible of uh, being able to to tell you what is going to happen to you over the week you know exactly the week ahead for uh, the collective uh, you know without it being like a, a personal reading. So basically my uh, readings, I will just be reading the energy um, uh, and it's not going to be so much, um, uh, I know a lot of uh, readers um, do their uh, readings that they post for collective signs um, and you know, make it sound more of like a personal type reading, but it's kind of hard to do that. So, um, and, and I don't want, you know, anybody to say, well, you told me this well, um, and I, I want you guys to get as accurate as possible. So I'm just going to be reading the energies. If you would like your own personal reading, also you can uh, look up my reviews on Google and um, my uh, Facebook business page to see that my personal readings are actually quite accurate um, <clears throat> especially if you have a particular question and it um, you know don't want it so general uh, yeah so anyways I'm um, gonna get started with the singing bowl like I always do I'm gonna have you um, uh, visualize a healing light full of unconditional love. You're going to breathe um, uh, three deep breaths of this healing light and envision is filling your lungs and filling your body with this healing light. Uh, and then uh, this is connecting you to source energy. It's also helping me to connect with your energy as well. There is no time and space between us. So um, it's as if you are connecting with me right here, right now. Um, I will be connecting with your energy in the future as you are reading uh, or sorry, watching this reading. Okay. And um, <clears throat> excuse me, you can ask your guides, your uh, your angels, your ancestors, um, your spirit guides to uh, communicate with you in this reading in some way. You're going to take what resonates and leave the rest because sometimes you may not even be in your sun sign. This is going to be for any sign um, uh, that is under the sign of Sagittarius that you have this placement in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, okay? Uh, this could also be for cross watchers as well, or the person that you're dealing with. <clears throat> okay. source energy, divine Holy Spirit, angels, archangels, ascended masters, ancestors, spirit guides, 
for guiding, blessing, and protecting this reading for the collective of souls with Sagittarius in their sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Thank you for using my cards as a tool to communicate messages, bringing clarity, insight, guidance, validation, understanding, wisdom, and or knowledge that comes from a place of love. Thank you for the accuracy on my part and the accuracy of these tools delivering honest, trustworthy answers and messages for the highest good and the harm of none. With peace, love, light, and gratitude, so it is. Namaste. <clears throat> okay. So this is going to be, um, you know, uh, the energy that is around you at this time and the energy that is coming towards you in the near future um, uh, from the time that you view this video. Um, and for as far as the near future goes, this can be anywhere, you know, from uh, now, um, you know, a, a week ahead, the next seven days from the time you see this. Um, this can be uh, up to 30 days, a, m a couple of months, uh, because there are so many of you um, that could potentially watch this video in the future. Um, I I'm not going to give it a set uh, time. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. And I'm also manifesting that there are going to be thousands of people that receive help guidance and insight from my readings so who knows who this message may resonate with a year from now a month from now you know 24 days from now two days from now oh my goodness i feel like um for some of you uh with sagittarius that you could be uh having some concerns or worries regarding finances That's the that's like uh, what I'm thinking, uh, what I'm hearing right now, what I'm feeling. Spirit, please come here. Please communicate. Show me clearly what I need to see. You guys could also, um, you uh, divine masculines that are um, Sagittarius, uh, or maybe dealing with a Sagittarius, could be um, really thinking about a, a a feminine energy. Just a moment. I, I actually had a, uh, my, sorry guys, my box with my little candles in it was in my way and I wanted to, didn't want anything to uh, take my focus off of you, so I want to go ahead and move it. <clears throat> yeah, you know, some of you could uh, be coming into um, some money here, like uh, financial um abundance in some way through um, uh, some like court or legal um, legally somehow okay thank you spirit please show me clearly what is uh, the energy around the sign of Sagittarius there's that mature man so um, let's see spirit tell me more why is the mature man here Okay. All right, so we've got child, mature man. Um, definitely could be like um, an issue here where, well, actually I'm really not picking anything up. There could be um, issues regarding um, an older gentleman here and children. Spirit. So I'm going to ask for one more card to find out why um, this uh, child and man is here. Spirit, tell me more about this. Uh, there could be, um, I'm feeling, um, some sort of obstacle here with regards to a situation. I'm feeling um, uh, a challenging or a uh, situation here regarding um, children or um, and um, 
a divine feminine here. Some of you could be the message card. It didn't come out, but it did flip over. Could be receiving some sort of communication from maybe the father of your child, or the um, if you're the father here, uh, maybe you are uh, reaching out to um, the the child's mother. Okay, and look, I've got main female here on the bottom of the deck. Uh, concern, give. Okay, so, um, and the card that actually came out is a false person. And the thing is, is um, that message card that, um, that came out, there's a lot of eights here. I feel like, uh, you know, that there is a, a, a relationship here um, no, maybe it is you're the child in the situation. Not saying that you're a child, but uh, you could be dealing with a situation where you're the child and um, there are two parents here and uh, both have their own side or has um, uh, these parents uh, are separated, I'm feeling. And it's like the child is trying to uh, figure out which um, which one of these, the mature man or the main female, like which one to believe here with this false person? It's like, which one is being honest? Which one's telling lies? There could, um, I feel like also be a situation where there are, um, it's just, uh, if you're not the child here, if you're one of the, um, uh, people in this situation, uh, there is a child involved in some way and, um, you are trying to figure out, um, you know, if the, um, uh, baby mama or baby daddy here is being deceptive or deceitful in some way. Maybe you already know this. Maybe this is, is just already a concern of yours. Um, I do feel like though that, um, that one of these, um, uh, parents here is receiving some sort of financial compensation um, uh, by legal means. Okay, so that's it for Kipper, okay? Thanks, Kipper. We will see you later. I do wanna get one, see if I can get one other message here from Kipper. Thank you, Spirit. Can I get a new message here for Sagittarius? Look, sudden wealth. I, I, I'm telling you, you guys, I'm seeing money come in for you. Um, you know, and, and cross watchers, if you're dealing with someone with Sagittarius, this could also be you. You know, it could be the Sagittarius has got a person here that is going to be coming into money in some way, you guys. Um, so I, I definitely would. Um, uh, um, be keeping uh, an ear out or an eye out here for some sort of message regarding um, uh, um, money in some way, like gaming money in some way. Spirit, can we get one more message, a different message here for the sign of Sagittarius and what is coming towards them at this time? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. And sometimes the cards don't always jump, but this one did. Lovers. And this actually tried to come out earlier. So I definitely see, you know, some sort of, uh, I feel like this, there could be a, a reconciliation of some sort, or there's like a, um, um, and if not a reconciliation, this is like trying to make a decision as well, um, possibly maybe between two different people or whether or not you should uh, get back together with um, someone, um, reconcile. Um, you know, what is their, um, okay, pathway came out. Um, Uh, trying to decide, uh, choose a path, I feel. Um, make a decision at a crossroads, I feel like. And uh, trying to uh, make a decision at this time. Spirit, what is this 
a crossroads or this decision about this um, decision that uh, Sagittarius needs to make. Okay. Somebody was left out in the cold. Somebody was left abandoned and is just trying to um, uh, decide what it is that they want. It could have been this, you know, uh, mature woman here, uh, female here that is, um, is wanting uh, or this divine, uh, divine feminine here that has been left out in some way. And if you look, this number, this card, this number of this card is six, and the lovers is fifteen. But uh, in numerology, that would um, actually turn into a six. That one in five would be a six. So we do have sixty-six in your reading. Um, so I feel like you could possibly, because in um, tarot, the lover's card, um, it actually, um, it actually um, is card number six in, uh, in the tarot. So, um, you know, you could be, um, uh, this could, you know, actually be with, um, the lover's car, um, which is about making a decision. It's also like making a, 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 a moral decision. Um, it, it's, um, it's also about like, um, uh, romantic love, uh, soulmate type energy. Uh, because for one thing too, I want to show you this card right here, pathway that is, um, uh, something, you know, either moving towards something or this is something moving towards you, but, um, being on the, the right path, it's, um, choosing a direction, but, um, and several other things, but I want to show you that the number on this card is 35 and that three plus five is eight and eight is the number of self. So I do feel like that this could be, um, uh, for one, that being that you are on this path to finding, um, yourself, it is, um, also about, um, on this path to finding, um, trust in a relationship. There could, um, could also be a, a sense of manipulation around you because earlier we did have the false person and when the false person is with the lovers I understand they didn't come out together but since that energy is there that it may have been like something here in the past um, some sort of cheater or gold digger feeling um, um, but regardless this is like um, you know, uh, let, letting yourself be guided, especially here with that pathway, letting yourself be, um, be guided by, um, your feelings, by your, uh, intuition. Um, I, I feel I just feel like you are following your heart too. There is this energy of really following your heart because with that pathway, with that lovers, this is something you know, love, um, following your feelings, romantic feelings, um, uh, truth. Uh, trust, honesty, harmony, balance, and then we have this pathway. So I feel like you are following your heart. You're on this path towards um, following um, uh um, following your heart, <laughs> but it's, uh, it could also be a very, um, profound, uh, friendship as well that you are on this path with this mature woman. So if you, um, uh, are female watching this, um, you are either like in love with another female, uh, romantically, or this is you, um, uh, uh, you know, on, on this path to finding um, this very profound relationship that uh, the two of you are actually soulmates. Even if it's not romantic, it is that soulmate energy of um, this relationship 
is um, profound in so many ways, spiritually, emotionally, mentally. Um, and this other person is like the, um, they are that missing link is one thing that I just heard. Uh, yeah, there, you, there could be some sort of movement change here. Um, you know, finding love, um, romance, marriage. Um, so, uh, um, I, I'm also feeling like some of you could possibly even be getting a new vehicle, um, or trying to, uh, buy a new vehicle. There could be some thoughts about movement, um, changing careers, um, uh, changing your career. Look, the, again, I've got money and then I've got courthouse. So they're, they're in great fortune. There definitely could be like uh, somebody here who is coming into some sort of money, um, so, uh, you know, uh, winning a lawsuit, um, you know, being uh, uh, awarded uh, finances. Again, great fortune. So there's, um, you know, uh, definitely like uh, this mature woman could be um, receiving um, money in some way. There could be um, uh, child support, um, something here regarding child support. Spirit, how is this great fortune? Is this given or taken? Is this great fortune being given to Sagittarius or taken? Courtship. So, um, okay, Kipper's not really making much sense anymore. But look, again, we have eight. So we've got 66 and 88. So I definitely feel like you guys should look up the um, the angel number of 66, 88. But this courtship, I feel like this is could also be spirit saying that um, that these two lovers here are coming together to really combine um, uh, finances as well. Um, so you could uh, be, and then we've got mature man again on the bottom of the deck with mature woman. So I feel like these two um, could be coming together to really combine uh, finances in some way. So yeah, that's what I am seeing from Kipper. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take Kipper up. Kipper can sometimes give out some confusing messages. Um, so I usually like try to add Kipper uh, last uh, to kind of clarify some of the cards, but. Thank you, Divine Holy Spirit, angels, archangels, ascended masters, ancestors, and spirit guides for guiding, blessing, and protecting this reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Thank you for using these cards to deliver communication, to communicate, bringing clarity, insight, guidance for the highest good and the harm of none with peace, love, light, and gratitude. So it is. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, please come here. Please communicate with the sign of Sagittarius. Spirit, please come here. Please communicate. Show me clearly what I need to see. Show me clearly, Spirit, what I need to see for Sagittarius. What is coming towards Sagittarius at this time? What energy is around Sagittarius? And how can they transmute that energy? Okay, Sagittarius. We're going to pull three cards for um, the energy that is around you at this time. And then we will pull cards for how you can transmute that. Oh my goodness. Mm. 
tower on the bottom of the deck and then right behind that is page of swords there could be some sort of shocking communication regarding a um uh an aquarius um like this just comes out of nowhere some sort of message that that makes you feel uh stuck or um just like uh feeling a sense of limbo um or you know they're communicating that they see you differently now like they um, see your worth they see how successful you are um, but uh, let's keep going so um, but for the card here that come out the energy that I'm feeling is there is a lot of hope around you right now like you are um, uh, really thinking about the future you do have dreams goals aspirations and you have a lot of hope for that um, right now there's a lot of faith in you uh towards uh, achieving your dreams your goals spirit what else what other what else can you tell me about the energy around okay we've got oh my goodness we've got the two of hazards and and the ten of hazards okay so um and then temperance on the bottom of the deck with a uh, chariot right behind that so uh what i'm picking up here with the two of hazards is um that you are uh, going back and forth in your mind trying to make a decision right now okay um give me just a moment i feel so the words i just heard is weighing your options about something you're kind of like going back and forth you could also be right now really um uh just kind of um uh, mul doing a lot of multitasking as well like um uh, school and work and um and just like uh in this place of juggling uh because you are like really hopeful about the future. You are um, trying to make your dreams come true. And so um, I feel like you could be uh, trying to balance or juggle different responsibilities. Um, and, and I feel it, it it's right exhausting. You know, I, I feel um, that there right now, the energy around you, Sagittarius right now is um, uh, a, a very heavy workload. Or even if it's not like a heavy workload, it's still this sense of, um, especially here with that 10 of hazards that came out and they actually came out together. So I'm going to read them together. There could be, um, uh, friends and family too, that are, um, trying to either distract you or trying to, um, uh, caution you, but it's like, there is, it's like you are, um, uh, family are involved in some way here with you trying to make a decision regarding family as well um, it could even be that there's an Aquarius uh, in the mix somewhere that is playing a role or a part in this in some way so um, okay um, and so I am going to go ahead and pull another card because I feel like these two were meant to be together, read together. Okay, Spirit, can I get one more card, please, for Sagittarius? One more card, Spirit, for Sagittarius. The energy around Sagittarius at this time. The energy around Sagittarius. Spirit, guide this reading. Show me. Sagittarius or those with Sagittarius in their chart. Spirit, please come here. Please communicate. Show me clearly, Spirit. Spirit, please come here. Show me clearly what I need to see. Show me clearly, Spirit. Okay, it's okay if it doesn't pop. It doesn't mean anything one way or the other. I just like it when it does. So... <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pull one spirit if we don't. Okay. Thank you. Oh, we got the king of hazards. Okay. So I really feel like right now you're just very focused like on, on your, on your goals. There's a sense of like you really being tied down right now. 
uh, tied down to like your responsibilities, tied down to uh, uh, a relationship even, um, or um, yeah, that's what I'm feeling for that. Spirit, can you uh, tell me why uh, you gave me the King of Hazards? So the Three of Swords and the Six of Swords. You could be um, also like uh, moving on from a very painful situation. This could even uh, be uh, uh, regards to a third party situation or maybe you're um, moving towards or, uh, a third party situation and um, you are uh, weighing your options right now, uh, whether or not to stay with this family or um, uh, move away from your obligations to this uh, uh, third party situation because actually the King of Swords did come out like sideways a little bit. So I do feel like that could be that energy, like you moving from uh, a way, make, trying to make a decision on uh, you know, moving away from obligations to uh, a painful situation, or this is you uh, uh, moving uh, away from a painful situation. I do feel like, too, that you are really withdrawn right now, um, emotionally, maybe even physically, you're not um, hanging out with family, friends, because I do have here that hermit card on the bottom of the deck, and you see she's got um, uh, the world of zombies, like uh, blocked out, uh, locked out, uh, shut out, and she's she's straight chilling, you know, she's happy, she's sitting there on the sofa smiling, so it's just like, um, uh, it could be dealing with a, a Leo uh, right now as well, or have somebody that has Leo in their chart. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Please come here. Show me clearly what I need to see for the sign of Sagittarius. Spirit, please use this deck as a tool to communicate, showing me how... Um, Sagittarius can transmute this energy. Thank you, Spirit. Please come here. Show me clearly what I need to see. Show me clearly what I need to see, Spirit. Thank you. And guys, if you are connecting with this reading at all, if you could please just like the video. It's going to help me grow. It's going to help me achieve my dreams and be able to reach more people. Thank you, Spirit. Please guide this reading. Show me clearly what I need to see. Uh, how can the sign of Sagittarius transmit this energy? Okay. Oh my goodness beautiful okay so we do have the two of candles that was showed itself on the bottom of the deck i am picking up uh that spirit is saying that really you just need to um take time to to think about the direction that you want to take uh, nobody says that you have to um, make a decision right now but just consider uh, the possibilities, um, all the possibilities, you know, consider uh, whether or not you want to um, uh, leave what you know in what is comfortable or um, if you want to just step out of your comfort zone and, uh, and take those uh, first steps. But right now that overall energy is you've got the world in your, in your, um, in your hands right now with that world card. You have the entire world at your fingertips and it's up to you to decide um, to move forward. And the eight of pentacles, I'm sorry, the eight of candles, this is that energy of the, um, that's the same as the, uh, sorry, the eight of wands. The eight of wands is like rapid movement. It's growth, okay? So spirit does want you to, um, to clearly decide you know, what it is that you want, 
um, make that decision and then um, move forward. You know, Spirit is saying that you have been through so much and you've learned so much with regards to that, um, that world card. Um, and this is you uh, transmuting this energy into feeling completely satisfied and happy with your life. You know, really consider um, sharing your, uh, your experiences with other be uh, people um, because you're, you have the um, uh, uh, ability here to um, inspire people with your story. With that eight of candles, I'm really getting that. In fact, that's one of the, the meanings in the book for this particular deck is um, that you have the ability to really inspire other people. So with that eight of wands, this is communication. Spirit wants you to really um, uh, communicate here, okay? Um, um, you know, you've been going through a very uh, life changing um chapter cycle in your life you know and um uh, this could uh, definitely be some sort of self-discovery type uh energy um and, and maybe you have felt like you don't know where you end and someone else begins okay but spirit is is saying to um to just um, step back and take time to really reflect on that. And I know that the world doesn't necessarily mean um, mean step back, but that was um, that was just an intuitive message that I got from spirit. Um, you know, things are definitely um, going to start to pick up to change very quickly because that is what the uh, the Eight of Wands uh, represents. And so the world card, that is also uh, change. That is, um, you know, um, adventure because the wands can represent adventure. It's um, uh, telling you to um, uh, be inspired and use this very inspired energy to, um, to transmute your um your life into something wonderful magical um to overcome challenges and obstacles to overcome uh these very um heartbreaking times in your life with that hermit spirit is saying to really um take time to reflect uh inwards um you are going to achieve amazing wonderful things here Okay, so it, it's, um, I, I see you really em, embracing this change as well. Spirit is saying um, that, that things are changing quickly and, and for you to just continue to uh, embrace this change because it's leading you on top of the world embrace um moving into uh, uh, a calmer gentler uh period embrace um the pain that you have suffered because it's it's definitely um uh been um a good thing because it's transformed you it's transforming you So this reading for me to have only used a few cards actually ran over faster than I would have liked. Um, uh, I think I'm going to do my spread a little differently next time. I think what I'm going to do is just do my standard um, uh, Celtic cross spread because, um, um, and I think that's what I'm going to do for my next reading too because um, I can get a little bit more information for you uh, instead of uh, reading the general energy. I thought maybe be before I started the reading that I would like that better, just reading the, the general energy, but I'm not satisfied with that. So yeah, next time I will uh, just uh, read for you like I was reading for you personally 
and see what we get and see what spirit gives because I am feeling more led to doing that. So uh, anyways, yeah, if you would like your own personal private reading uh, where I can focus just on your energy and your energy alone to see what's going on in your life and uh, the outcome, uh, what you're headed towards, Please feel free to reach out to me. I will put um, the link, or sorry, I will put um, my email address in the description box below, uh, and you can feel free to reach out to me to receive, um, uh, find out how you can receive your own reading. I'll also put my Instagram uh, in there as well. And. Um, Thank you everyone for checking out my video for the sign of Sagittarius. I hope this helps. Namaste.